Iceland is well known for its beautiful and diverse nature. Ja, ég var bara að fá að klára þessa kynningu. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> These little elves. Whether it's the natural lagoons, moonlike landscape, or volcanic rocks and mountains, Iceland is a holiday destination of extremes. Reykjavík, the capital city of Iceland, is a 40-minute drive from the airport. The city was founded by Ingolfur Arnarsson in the year of 870. When he first saw Iceland, he was sailing from Norway and threw his valuable wooden seat posts overboard and vowed to settle wherever they washed up. He found them in the southwest of Iceland and named the place Reykjavík, or the Smoky Bay. The smoke was of course hot steam rising from our natural springs, which provides us with the luxury of warm bathing pools. On your way from the airport to Reykjavík, you can visit our most admired spa, the Blue Lagoon. The geothermal seawater is known for its positive effects on the skin. You can laze in the steaming waters, have a beauty treatment, massage and enjoy an excellent meal afterwards. When you get to Reykjavík city, a nice way to get to know the area is to go straight to Hallgrímskirkja, the Church of Hallgrímur, and take the elevator to the top of the bell tower. It's the tallest building in the heart of Reykjavík, and from there you'll get a great view over Reykjavík's colourful rooftops, as well as the mountains and the sea which surrounds the city. Good morning, Mr. Leivur. Hello. How are you today? Oh, just fine. Excellent. Next to Hallgrímskirkja, you'll find Café Loki, where the menu consists of traditional Icelandic food. Good day. Good day. And what do you recommend today? Ah, today we have special uh, mast fish and potatoes mm -hmm. in gratinere with salad and homemade dry bread. And the meat soup is always very popular. Icelandic meat soup, and then we use just lamb and a lot of vegetable. And if you want some samples, we have Icelandic plate one or two, where you can have the homemade dry bread with mast fish or, and the smoked trout. We, we buy it direct from the farmer in the north, in Miva. Mm -hmm. And there you can have this Icelandic shark and uh, dry fish. Mm -hmm. And how do the visitors like the shark? Oh, they, some of them hate it, others love it, but a lot of people want to taste it. And what about the dry fish? Oh, everyone loves that. It's lovely to take a stroll down this street, Skólaverðustígur, and admire the old charming houses or browse the windows of all the great stores and galleries. In Skólaverðustígur you'll find many cafes, so it's ideal to enjoy a cup of coffee and some delicacies on the way. A great place to shop for woolen goods is the shop Geysir at Skólaverðustígur. This is our traditional Icelandic sweater, Lopapesa. It's always been very popular amongst the locals. Another interesting place in Skólaverðustígur is Tólf Tónar, an independent record store with a wide selection of alternative music, as well as some unique Icelandic homemade recordings you cannot purchase anywhere else. Tólf Tónar is a friendly place where you can have a cup of coffee and listen to music. A striking addition to the Icelandic and European cultural scene, Harpa, Reykjavík Concert Hall and Conference Centre, opens to the public in the summer. Stein, what is the significance of the opening of Harpa? Harpa will open up a whole new dimension in Icelandic cultural life, providing us with a great venue for the best that Icelandic music life has to offer, as well as welcoming outstanding international artists. It will also uh, be a great venue for international conferences and large meetings. It will become the home of the Iceland Symphony Orchestra, the Icelandic Opera, as well as various festivals and concert series. Additional amenities include shops, ground floor bistro, as well as a restaurant with a spectacular view. 
Harpa will be the host of the well-known festival Airwaves, as well as other prominent music events featuring many internationally acclaimed musicians. It's fun to spend a day at the Harpur in Reykjavik. And if the weather is nice, it's brilliant to go out on the sea. You can start by visiting Víkin, a maritime museum at Grandagarðir, before taking a tour with a whale-watching ship. You can enjoy the view from the sea, and if you're lucky, you might catch a glimpse of a dolphin, puffin or a whale. You have to taste the burgers at Bullan. Try the offer of the century. It's classic. Reykjavik is a capital next door to nature, and it's amusing to walk the length of the beach all the way to the lighthouse at Grotta. Next to this old shed in Grotta, there is a hidden hot spring where you can warm your feet and enjoy the midnight sun. The hot spring, Kvika, is an artwork by the artist Olaf Nordal. Believe it or not, it's highly popular amongst the locals to swim regularly in the ice-cold sea. We mostly sit at the computer the whole day, so this is quite different and it's always good. And how often do you do it? Uh, every week, always Wednesdays. Seven years. Seven years, no, six, yeah, seven, seventh year. And who knits the swimwear? Our wives, beloved wives and, and grandmoms. But one, one of us started knitting himself and it took one year to knit his and it's really ugly. <laughs> but now some of us are learning how to knit and we hope, hope we do, hopefully we will do it ourselves in, in the future. And you never get cold? Well, it's freezing in there, of I mean, course. And never sneeze and get... No, well, that's, that's another thing. My, my department at Decode, where we work, is the healthiest department in, in the company. Arguably the finest hotel in Iceland is the four-star Hilton Reykjavik Nordica. Here you can have anything you desire. Vox restaurant offers gourmet food in a sophisticated environment. The menu at Vox is impressive and will certainly satisfy even the most demanding customers. Good day, Stefan. Uh, good day. Welcome to the restaurant. Thank you. This is a beautiful buffet you have here at Vox. Yeah, thank you for that. Yes, uh, we are very proud of this. We actually have uh, this lunch buffet is all uh, working days. But on the weekends, we are serving brunches at uh, lunchtime. Mm -hmm. uh, at the restaurant walks, we have uh, it's divided into two parts. We have uh, the uh, bistro area and, uh, and the fine dining area. Mm. And I was told that you have the new Nordic cuisine in the forefront. Can you tell me what is the new Nordic cuisine? Well, new Nordic cuisine is all about local, actually. It's, uh, we are not importing the for grey anymore, or we are not using olive oil, and, but we are using what the Scandinavia offers and uh, mainly what Iceland offers. So local ingredients? Absolutely. Fresh from the sea, from the mountains and, and seasonal. This hotel is a relaxing retreat and getaway. At Hilton Reykjavik Nordica, there is a spacious gym with professional trainers where you'll get a complimentary shoulder and head massage in the jacuzzi. If you're up for some action and adventure, it's easy to get a guided tour from the travel company IcelandTotal.com. Your guide will pick you up from the hotel and take you wherever you want to go. When you book a day tour from Reykjavik, it might surprise you how many places you can see in one day. Thor, where are we now? Well, we are on the Golden Circle. Uh, the Golden Circle is a scenic tour around Iceland which consists of three major highlights. The uh, Thingvelli National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to the cultural and historical background, but also uh, a natural phenomenon where the tectonic plates drift apart. And uh, the geyser hot spring area where we are now, with the uh, spouting geyser and geothermal activity. And uh, the next stop in our tour is the uh, Gullfoss waterfall, 73 meters high in three plateaus. And what can you tell me about geyser? Geysir is a geothermal site here in Haukadalur on the Golden Circle where you have uh, hot springs spouting water up in the air. The original one, the Geysir, is uh, where the name comes from. Uh, used to spout water up to 200 feet in the air, while the younger sibling Strokkur spouts water up to uh, 100 feet every 8 to 12 minutes. Since the time of the settlement, Icelandic people have used the hot springs for a variety of purposes such as bathing, washing clothes and cooking. 
Yep, they're ready. I think so. Let's go. Let me show you. Here we have it. Cool. Yeah, this is delicious. Well, the bread is uh, baked for 24 hours. Okay. At uh, 80 degrees Celsius. And uh, what really happens is that uh, the temperature caramelizes uh, the sugar and creates this really sweet, amazing uh, taste. And okay. I'm looking forward to trying it. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. And, uh, mm. and you can serve this with butter, with herring, all kinds of delicious things that you find here in Iceland. Yummy. You like? <laughs> nice. In Iceland, we have so many black beaches. Yeah. But can you tell me why we have black sand? Well, Iceland is a volcanic island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, located on the Atlantic Ridge. And uh, here we have volcanic eruptions. Iceland is the youngest geological mass on Earth, uh, formed eight million years ago when Iceland surfaced from beneath the ocean. And uh, the black sand is actually uh, ash from these volcanoes that is dispersed all over the country. So we have the longest stretches of black beaches, just like this one. Don't you think that the Northern Lights are something that everyone should experience at least once in their lifetime? Yes, I absolutely agree. The Northern Lights in Iceland are mainly visible from uh, September through March, April. And it's best to go a little bit outside of Reykjavik City and uh, you should see them uh, glistening across the sky. Mm -hmm. You could even see them from Blue Lagoon. Absolutely, and that would be a dream come true. Air Iceland offers domestic flights to all the main destinations in Iceland. There are various day tours on offer, and this is a quick and scenic way to see many of the most beautiful places. Isafjörður, the largest town in the West Fjords, has towering mountains on either side, providing the perfect shelter for a lively harbour. The town has for centuries been the largest fishing village in the area. A day tour gives you the glimpse of the traditional everyday life in Isafjörður. A mere 45 minute flight from Reykjavík is the beautiful town of Akureyri. Situated on the shores of the north coast, this charming port town is the commercial and cultural capital of northern Iceland. Akureyri is also the ideal location from where to explore some of Iceland's most beautiful natural gems. Only a two-hour flight from Reykjavík will take you to Greenland. Located on the west coast of Greenland is the town of Ilulisat. The town has a beautiful location at the mouth of an ice fjord that is filled with enormous icebergs from the fastest and most active glacier in the northern hemisphere. I remind you that it's very easy to make a few days stopover in Iceland when you travel with Iceland Air. So why not add another great destination to your trip across the Atlantic and create new and original memories that will last you a lifetime? Finally, repeat after me. Eyja fjalla jökull.